Really, really simple question. Yes, we still be together now. What? Oh, it's Don't feel bad. You knew how it went. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Dry skin. She was only the girl next door. Until he decided to. Yeah, the gel melts very unsightly blemishes away. Does your fellow know what we know when you say it? Will you respect me afterwards? Three. Does your fellow know? Right, I'll tighten up the problem again. Not so much a shoulder to cry on. There's no sign of mine. Please tell me. She had to say something, didn't she? She told Trisha who stood her up. Trisha? When? Last week. No, she told us. What did she say? She told me she chucked him. Mm. Mind you, Trisha would. What for? Say that. She was myself, didn't she? Trisha? Hmm. Last term. Only once, though. Three weeks, she said to me. Three weeks? Hmm. I thought you went with Debbie last term. That was Gary. Oh. Right, and I've left again. I thought it was going for coffee. We won't be there. Never is, Thursday. We can try, can't we? It's a waste of time. We won't play Thursdays, don't we? Say do. Come on, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut and he said to me that she said to her, I said to him, and they all said to each other everything else, and the neighbour was going out with anybody. What's that? It's a good new. More for them. <laughs> oh, don't. You think where it's thin? You coming or what? That's the best you can do, is it? No. Loud, sorry. Who are you calling her loud? You. So lay off. Oh, what? Us. You know what? <laughs> exactly. Well, that's like a comedy act, aren't we? <laughs> we like to think so. We want to persuade the school to let us take the same class as the boys. You know, metal work and woodwork and that sort of thing. Why? Why? Why should we be fogged off with domestic science and needlework while they get to do all the interesting things? It should be our choice what subjects we take, not the schools. Do you want to do metal work? Work? Definitely not with work. <laughs> it's the principle, isn't it? 
we should be allowed the same chances as the boys. Same classes, same career opportunities, same everything. You'll be the ones to lose that if you don't join us. Problems. Don't let them get you down, girls. Right to Patty's problem page. Not so much a shoulder to cry on as a friend to lean on. Dear Patty, there must be something wrong with me because I seem to find most boys really childish and stupid. All except Terry, that is. Terry's really different. Terry. Hi. Mind if I join you? Mind? Thought maybe those creeps were giving you some trouble. Nothing you can't handle, Terry. You can't help acting like this, I suppose. I used to think that's how you thought of me. Just a kid. Once, perhaps. I just never looked closely before. I must have been blind.
saggy generation gap again, right? Still treating you like a kid? I don't know. They never learn, do they? Still, you're luckier than some. At least you've got someone to turn to. Someone pretty special at that. Hi. I heard you was having some aggro. Can't have that, can we? Want to tell me about it? Judy knows the importance of freshness. And not just keeping her house fresh and hygienic either. Judy knows the importance of personal freshness. But she nearly had to learn the hard way. Hey, it's coming over. Well, I don't. Charming! What did I do wrong? I just don't understand it. Body odor. So on her friend's advice, she bought herself a can of fragrance. The next Saturday night disco was a different story. Remember me? Two years later, Judy still uses fragrance. Because she knows it's not just the way to get you a man, but to keep him. Amanda? Amanda! Do I have to read that thing at the table? I don't know what's the matter with you these days. You've either got your head stuck in the clouds or you want to read things. They are reading. Yeah, they're like rubbish, really. No, no. rubbish. Oh. Romantic claptrap. Filling your mind with a load of pipe dreams. If you want to bring stuff back from that news agent, bring a decent paper. We find out what's going on in the world. Oh, leave her alone. Oh, yeah, you're the expert, aren't you? Precious good they did you. Just don't 
see why everyone else is told about it but me. Even Michael knows. Well, you know what they say. Look, his sisters are always the last to know. Come on, settle down. I said settle down. Look, if you're not going to listen, it's pretty bloody pointless, isn't it? What it boils down to is this. Girls just aren't getting a fair crack at some subjects. Yeah. Like engineering, technical drawing, yeah. stuff like that. Now we've gone through the school council, asked for something to be done, and all we get is platitudes and soft stuff. Mm -hmm. So we've got to change things ourselves. How? First off, for those of you who haven't dropped off, <laughs> is to talk to people, families, friends, anyone who might support us, and work at school. Where will it get you? I know you're down about Terry being Catherine's, but there are plenty more where he came from, right? Look around you. There's him for a start. Sure, he's new to the school, but that just keeps you ahead of the field. Forget all this nonsense and concentrate on what's important. And he could be important if you give him a chance. And let the school know about it. It made a lot of sense. Yeah, well, we'll look real idiots. If we get all these classes, then no one wants to do them, won't we? But she's talking about the principle of it, isn't she? That's just what it is, if you ask me. A load of talk. It's not a load of talk. Shh. Well, it gives a surprise to us, too. No need to tell anybody else. It's one hell of a way to find out. See? It's like this all the time. Look, about tonight. I don't want to seem inhospitable, but, well, we do have rather a family crisis. about nothing, does it? I don't even know what the fuss is about, do I? I don't know what fuss you're talking about. Your sister's getting married, that's all. And that's all she said, was it? Just that we're getting married? Yeah. Nothing changes, does it? my periods. Mum was so embarrassed she couldn't wait to get the explanations over with. In fact she was in such a hurry I got it all wrong. I thought it was something that happened just the once and that was it. Finito. A month later it happened again. She and Dad had some people in and I was getting ready to go to bed when bingo there it was. I thought I was a freak or something. I went running downstairs with me nighty. I flung open the front room door and said, Mum, it's happened again. It didn't go down too well. She never told me about it at all. Well, not properly. Well, she didn't have to, did she? She knew she had me to do it for her. I don't know why she can't see it. See what? But all this... Well, all this 
secrecy and stuff. It just makes things worse. Me, okay? Just let her think you tweaked it on your own. Tweaked what? What have the aggro's been about? I'm pregnant, aren't I? Will Amanda's secret admirer declare himself? Will Catherine and Terry live happily ever after? Will Polly and Amanda join the sixth form revolution? To be continued next week.